All right, guys, and welcome. I, as promised, I wanted to do just a quick walkthrough of what is inside the Ultimate Apprentice Optician Study Guide, just to give you a bit of an idea of what you get when you sign up. And I hope that you can see after this video exactly how useful this is. Now, a quick reminder, this is designed to work with our YouTube channel where all the lectures, all the content, and all the training is available to you for free. So this is definitely a supplement to all that training and highly, highly encouraged. However, if you want to start learning today and if you're not sure if you want to jump into the program right away, uh, jump onto our YouTube channel and you get all the lectures for free. Now, we are always building that channel. It's growing and growing and growing. Therefore, it's not necessarily at the full point where we intend it to be. Uh, but, you know, awesome things take time and we're getting there. And let's shift our focus to this uh, the study guide so that you can see exactly what's inside and how this works with the YouTube channel. So first, I have this kind of loaded up the way that it would be when you first sign up. First, and on the left-hand side of the bar here, we can see my mouse cursor. All the different chapters or all the different elements to this study guide are all listed on the left-hand side. And you can click on any one of them at any single point. Uh, all of these little accordion things, you can open things up and see what's inside all the different things. And we're going to go through them one by one, or at least some of them, because there is some repetition here. And I want you to see exactly how this works and how useful it can be in your learning. So first, uh, when you first sign up, you get the welcome screen. This is going to give you a little bit of a description of what's inside and how it works. It gives you a little bit of an idea of how to use the workbooks, how to use the question banks, and how to use the flashcards, right? So those are the main things. There's also a couple bonuses in here too that I'm going to mention in a moment. However, those are the main meat and potato parts to this is the workbooks that you follow along the YouTube lectures with, uh, the question banks, and the flashcards that you use to practice your new knowledge. So first here we have things kind of organized in all the different topics and these are going to coincide with all the playlists that we have on YouTube. So first, ocular anatomy and physiology. The two main things that we have in here are the workbook and the question banks. So if you click here and it opens up the workbook. So I've already been playing around in the workbook so it opens up to the last page I was looking at. However, here you have the entire workbook available to you to be able to print off and use it when you're following along in all the lectures. We even have the answer pages at the end of the workbooks, just like we do on the ones that we sell on Amazon. However, uh, you can use this in two different ways. You can either print it off and try to, to fill it out uh, your best without any help, and then compare what you've got to the answer pages at the bottom here, or you can jump on YouTube and follow along, because this is an exact reproduction of the exact lectures I use on YouTube to guide you through and instruct you, and you can actually fill out all the blanks and label the diagrams and do everything together. And if you go to optics, there's a workbook for the optics section, which it's going to load right now. There it is. All the optics stuff is all in here, and so on and so forth. Every single topic that we cover in opticianry is covered in here from instruments. You know, we did anatomy, optics, instrumentation, there's products, there's dispensing. Uh, there's everything, all right? Uh, inside each section, there's also question banks here that you can use to practice your knowledge. And we go through, and you notice here, up here, there are 171 questions for optics, right? The average axial length of the human eye is 23.5 millimeters, and it'll tell you when your answer is correct. And if you go here and you click the wrong answer, it will tell you were wrong and where the right answer actually was. So you can continue and practice all your knowledge in every single topic um, or you know topic section from anatomy to optics and all the other ones I've mentioned. Every single one has huge question banks that allow you to practice all your knowledge. On top of this, there's also the digital flashcards. So if we open up the flashcard part here and we click on the flashcard, uh, the cool thing about the flashcard is that there are hundreds and hundreds of you know cards in this deck and you get the option of either resuming where you left off or restarting, which reshuffles the deck. So if we click resume here, it goes back to where we left off and we can actually read the definition, try to think to ourselves what that is describing. And then you can flip the card here to see what uh, the answer was. And if we click here, we get the next card and we do it over and over again. Not only do we have this for, uh, for eyeglass dispensing and theory, we also have one here for the contact lens, which has, 
oh, this is the question bank. Well, oh, contact lens question bank. We also have contact lens flashcards right here, digital flashcards that, that do the exact same thing. And you can resume it, or you know, if you restart, it reshuffles the deck, and we come here and we can start going. And great for studying pathology and all the terms available in contact lenses. So uh, other than that, we have also our resources here, which are filled with a whole bunch of different PDFs that we have gathered from outside resources, third-party resources, that we think are really, really good and handy uh, for you to review when you're doing all your studying. From, you know, from ANSI tolerance guides, you see here you have all the ANSI charts, to dispensing checklists, uh, to all sorts of different things. So this is another good one. This is a huge, uh, if you're studying ophthalmic optics, this text is one of the best ones I've ever read. So, you know, there's, you know, there's a huge 130 pages of potential literature here that you can read and learn about ophthalmic optics. Uh, all of these things available at your fingertips all inside one program. And, you know, it, you'll, it'll take you some time to go through this and look at all the different things that we have kind of bundled in here. And the nice thing is, is that we're always adding to it. It's something that is very fluid, right? So as we come up with uh, different kind of, you know, resources, we throw it into this program. And as we start finding other information that we think is useful to the student, we throw it in here as well. So it's always evolving. And remember, this works with our YouTube channel where all the lectures are found and it gives you an opportunity to do all your learning concurrently and get the best you can out of your learning experience. So I hope that this video gives you a little bit of insight as to what's inside the program. I really hope if you're a student that you strongly consider jumping in here and joining our community so that you can get the best learning experience possible and if you are a practice owner and you're looking to train better staff, have better staff retention, and essentially contribute to somebody's you know, personal growth and well-being, this is definitely the way to do it. And you'll never regret it because when you train, when you have a small investment like this in your staff, the retention is incredible and the return on investment is unmeasurable because you will have you know, dedicated and competent staff who are not only you know, looking forward to making an impact in this field, but are tremendously grateful to you for introducing them to this and giving them something to work towards. All right. Again, thank you for taking the time to watch this video and to kind of get an understanding. We really hope to see you inside. Have a good one.